Hi, it's me, Mrs. Wentworth. Uh, I'm going to show you how to log into Google Classroom today. We're going to log in using both a computer and also how to log in on something like your phone. Um, I have children at home that are using Google Classroom right now, so I know how hard navigating some of these things can be. Um, I've noticed that sometimes it's actually more helpful for me to help submit my children's homework on my phone. Um, especially things like art and music. I'm recording the videos or taking pictures of their work on my phone and uploading their work um, that way. So I'm going to show you how to log in using both a phone and a laptop right now in case you're having difficulties getting into Google Classroom and uh, just a couple things on how to find where the work is and all of that as well. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so let's look at how to sign into Google Classroom on a computer. So, uh, first thing you're going to do is you're going to type in classroom.google.com. Uh, when you do put in that link and you hit select, it should look like this. Now mine is, there we go, here's my account. This is what mine looks like. Uh, it has all of the classes that I'm teaching or that I'm a part of as well. So I have a lot going on. But yours might be blank because you haven't signed anything up yet. Or maybe you have a couple classes, but you forgot to do uh, music or art or something and forgot that specials need to get signed in too. So what you're going to do is on the top, you're going to go over here and hit the plus sign. When you hit the plus sign, it's going to give you the option to join a class. You do not want to create a class. That's what teachers are doing. So you're joining a class and then you just type in the class code that you have gotten from your teachers. So I'm going to sign into my friend, Mr. Groats homeroom right now. This is for her kindergarten class. And then I just hit join. There we go. So I'm in Mr. Groot's kindergarten art class. It tells me where I am. The stream is where you're going to see like any big announcements that pop up um, over here where it says upcoming. It tells you any assignments that are going to be due soon. It gives you a calendar. Uh, you Right now there's nothing coming up, but you could hit click all and it shows you everything coming up. Now where you're going to want to find your assignments is you go into classwork and you'll have See right here, she has week one assignment. And you just click on that and it has the assignment as well. You can scroll down and she has all of these different things that will help you figure out how to do it. Um, when you're done, you can just go, oh, see, you can even talk to your teacher. Got it. When you're done, you go over here and you hit add or create. And that's where you can actually go in and put in your own work. This is how it works on anybody's um, Google Classroom. It's not just Mr. Groat's art classroom. This is how you can turn in work. So I'm going to go in and I'm gonna send her a little note just as a, like a little sample. So I'm gonna go to Docs. And Google Docs, see, turn it in. When you're done and ready to submit, you can turn it in. I got it. Um, so let's go over here and write one. Hi, Mr. Groot. Oops. And you can have like a little, um, a little way to, to type in your answers to whatever's going on. So uh, my daughter's use this. Her first one was a, a journal entry and her teacher asked her, um, how are you feeling during the quarantine? How is everything going at home? Do you miss being at school? And she just went on and wrote like a little journal. And when she was done, she turned it in. So when I'm done, I can go back here and I can turn it in. So am I, uh, I think I'm all good. Okay, I don't want to add anything else. I'm just doing this for fun. But I could just go over here and you see it has, it has my name in it already. Um, it should be all set up, see, and it even has line one landscapes. It has the title of the assignment showing up already with this. And I just hit turn in 
and that will send it to her. So I'm like, yep, do I want to do that? Yep, turn in. Yay, I just turned that in. Um, if I have a question, I can always go down here and ask Ms. DeGroat a question and she'll get back to me during her office hours. If I go back to the classes, I just hit the three lines on top and then it gives me uh, a view of all the classes that I'm in so that I know what's going on. Now, do you see how there's these assignments that are popping up on my screen? Those are telling me that they have a due date coming up and I don't want to forget that. So these are things that are assigned that has a due date coming. And what's cool is I can just click on that. I'm going to go into my kindergarten class now. There you go. And then the question should pop up and um, it has when it's going to be due. So I can just go here and I can click the video to sing along. Pete the Cat and the Treasure Map by James Dean. And then when I'm done with the whole thing, oop, I don't need that anymore. I go back here and this one it says, when you're done, choose which part of the lesson you enjoyed the most. And then I just vote. I click on which one I liked. You see, I had a bunch of people down here saying how much they had fun with it. They sent me classroom comments as well. Um, and you can do that as well. So that's the gist of how to log in as a, on a computer. And uh, what's cool is once you're logged in, you don't have to worry about it again. You can always just go back to your classes view. That's what I, I really like my classes view uh, because it shows me all of my classes. And uh, again, it pops up what is coming up that's due. Um, that really helps me, especially when I'm checking my kids' work. Uh, helps me know what is coming up. Did they do all of their work? Because if they have something up here that's showing up as a link, I know that that's not turned in yet. Um, what's also cool is you can go to calendar view and then it shows on the calendar all of the assignments that are due and when they're due and all of that. So that is also a very handy thing to, if, to help keep organized is use the calendar view of all of your assignments that's coming. Okay. Now, let's see how to log in on a phone. So I'm going to show you how to sign into Google Classroom now using a phone. <clears throat> so I've downloaded Google Classroom already to my phone home screen. When I click on it, it's going to open up and I'm already registered for some classes. So this works if you have registered or if you haven't. But you'll notice on the bottom right hand corner, there's a plus sign. When you click on that, you're going to want to hit join class. Now, all you have to do is type in the code that your teacher has given you. So I'm going to type in the teacher code for a friend of mine's class, Miss Perna's kindergarten class. I hit done. And there I am. Now I'm in Ms. Perna's kindergarten class. If I want to see what the homework is, I can just go to classwork and I can see what she wants me to do for the week. Okay, it has all the different assignments there. If I want to ask her a question, I go to add private comment. Uh, you can also go up here and add attachment and you can add a picture. Uh, so this is actually really good if you're doing something like art where they're having to draw pictures at home you can take a picture with your phone and then just hit add attachment, upload the picture that you have done, and then submit it. And it's super easy to do. Um, if you want to go back and see all of your other classes um, assignments on the top left corner, you see that there's the three lines. You hit that and it shows you all of the classrooms that you can go back into. Or if you hit classes, classes will bring you back to the tiles. Um, another cool feature is the calendar view. If you hit calendar, you can connect it to your Google Calendar and it will actually show you all of the due dates for every assignment in classes that you're registered for. So it's a great way to keep yourself organized. Well, I hope that that helps you understand a little bit more about how to get into Google Classroom and about what to do once you get in there. Uh, those are just the basics. There's a lot more that you can do with it once you get going. Um, it's a really cool tool that 
I'm sure we're all going to get very familiar with as we get going with the rest of the school year. Uh, but if you have any other problems from this point on forward and you're still not quite sure what to do, um, all of the teachers in the district are more than willing to help just email the teacher and um, and I'm sure they can help walk you through what to do. Or uh, there's also a lot of parents that are getting all the tips and tricks and are figuring things out. So uh, go ahead and ask somebody else that might be able to help you too. Uh, help each other, ask for help. It's okay, we're all learning all of this together and there is gonna be a learning curve, but we're all going to have a great outcome once we help each other out and um, and you know, we're all better together, as the hashtag says. So good luck, and I hope you are successful. Bye.